I don't wanna tell you about you fall apart Even though you told me to get back your heart I still spin inside your orbit yeah. You say that I should probably start to walk away I'm hoping that you stop and make me have to stay Cause I'm floating in your orbit Yeah, I'm stuck in your space Just my luck, but the only way you understand There's nothing left to say Take my hand, come on, babe. You understand? I wanna stay, cause I don't wanna walk away. Cause I don't wanna walk away. What's going on, guys? Good to see everybody here. Uh, it's been, it felt like it's been a while. It actually has been a while. So uh, apologize for being a little bit uh, slacking on the streams, but uh, it's been a uh, it's been a busy week so far, and it's going to probably get a little bit busier before things settle down. But hopefully, my nights will not be quite as busy here next next coming uh, next week. So. Anyway, we'll see, man. Corey, what's up? TD6, hello to Boom says fired up FTG, send it. Yeah, we'll try it, man. <laughs> I don't know. People don't like for me to send it on, on uh, ATS. I don't know why. I typically tend to, you know, hey, let's keep it in between the lines there, FTG, man. Let's go, man. Old man driving, man. I just want to see that Peter nice and clean once we get done with the end of the stream, man. <laughs> <laughs> what's up, Bear? Eddie Atkins, good to see you there, Freightliner fan as well. Farmer T. Jackson, what's up, buddy? Good to see you, man. Corey Murray as well. I uh, hope you guys are doing well. What's up, King? The, the 86 f 150 was up. Just got your license. Good deal, man. Congrats on the license. Don't lose them. Kind of going to need those things. Suman, what's up, man? Akuma, how are you, man? Good to see you, buddy. Uh, Alex, what's up, man? We are using uh, the Detroit. Okay, bear with me here. This one comes in the truck. Detroit Series 60 with the Lope. Yeah. Yeah. Lope that, man. I'm telling you. This is pretty good. <laughs> it is pretty good, man. Rebel, what's up? Big Jim, triple deuces. What's up, Big Jim? Good to see Big Jim in chat today as well. Robert, Jeremy, good to see you. Cooper, Papa Rocks, man. All these guys here in uh, Green Man's. Good to see you guys. Good to see you, man. Kathy Wells, what's up? From the old man, Devin. Hello, hello. Good to see you guys. Dingbat, what's up, man? Howdy, howdy, Daniel. Uh, good to see you, bud. Robert S., what's up? Yes, I am in the house, man. Jay Green Chi. Hello? Question mark. What's up? Maybe. How are you, man? I'm doing fine. RG Tam, what's up, man? Oh, thank you, man. Appreciate it, buddy. Yeah, we're trying to, you know, my content's always a little bit different than your typical YouTube stuff. You know, mine's uh, extremely interactive. <laughs> So, anyway, glad you're here, man. Glad you've been checking out the content, and uh, thanks for watching, man. 
yeah, I know, Andrew. That's what I said. I was like, okay, oh, check us out. And, and, and probably we had some other engines that we just didn't look at, you know, and we just didn't we didn't bother looking at them before. And uh, so I was like, yeah, I'm just going to see what engines this thing has in it already. And I was like, wow, I was not quite expecting this. I don't know who did it. I've never seen a Detroit 60 Series uh, with a loop on it. So uh, anyway, let me go ahead. Let's clean this out. Let's go ahead. I'm going to fire up at least uh, make sure my ATS window still, you know, we're still up and going. So let me roll this intro. I'll be back in five. Let's get to it. We're driving out of ProMods Canada. So for those that haven't checked any of this stuff out, we're also looking at some other things too. People want me to run realistic graphics mods, see what it looks like, you know, on the you know on the stream and stuff so i thought like, oh, okay fine we'll we'll switch the things out we are back in 139 by the way uh but more on that here in just a minute y'all don't go anywhere i'll be right back All right. Well, here we is. So uh, Freightliner Classic XL. This is the one by Jess Mods. Uh, this John Rude also has a Freightliner Classic XL, uh, but we will be featuring this from uh, Jess's. Um, absolutely amazing. Um, oh, <laughs> my wife is telling me to move the dustpan. Oh, well, that just means we like to keep a clean floor, everybody. Hang on. Let's do this right here. All right. Uh, there we go. <clears throat> well, the, uh, the truck uh, is actually... Uh, Alan Crawler, it's in the description. Did I put Jess Mods in there? If, if I didn't. Uh, what's up, Newell? Good to see you, man. Our uh, iRacing buddy. <laughs> uh, you guys can type in. Um, hang on. Hang on. I'm sorry, man. I have the wrong link. Ah. Okay. Um, uh, well, yeah. Oh, it's plates. Oh, it is. I just set this one up for another one. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> my bad. Oh my gosh, she tells you. Yeah, it's been it's been a minute. Uh okay. All right. Hang on a minute. Let's let's clean this up, man. <laughs> my bad, guys. Oh man. I'm like so. <laughs> All right, let me uh let me pause this and then we can go back and do the edit thing. All right, let's go back to the edit thing. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Uh, so anyway, Jess Mods Facebook. If you guys want to check it out, um, yeah, Jess Mods Classic. Uh, you can. You, you I don't think. Um, oh wait a minute. Does he have a mod shop now? He's short. Wait a minute. Is this him? No. I was about to say there's uh something else there. Yeah. Okay. That's totally different. Okay. Wow. Okay. Never mind. All right. Sorry. Scratch that. Uh, it's on Facebook. Might be. Can I change the color? For what? No. <laughs> no. You can buy it and make it whatever color you want to. No, because whatever color that you pick, um, somebody else will be like, I don't like that color. And so we'll be back into a never, um, never ending, uh, Cycle of uh yeah of of people not liking color. <laughs> All right, so let me edit. I'm gonna edit our mod commands. So you guys, what's up, Mitch? Could see Mitch in the house. Uh, let me let me edit up our commands. So if you guys wanna if you wanna um if you don't fling that out there, go ahead. Uh, it is exclamation mod. So just hang on, let me change it, and then you guys can uh, throw it in there. Uh, let's see, we'll do that. We'll do a custom command, and we'll change the link on that. So. Yeah, I had Blade set up because I was going to do one of his this week and um, just because it's been a while. And I'm kind of going back through some of the things we've done. It's been a while since we kind of revisited some of these mods. Um, and it will at least kind of get us uh, through 1-3. Um, uh, oh, gosh, I did do that. I'm sorry, guys. All right. Um, so it will kind of get us through one three nine until we know what's going on with one four zero. So a little bit of info um, all right, so the, the mod command, the mod command should be correct. Let's check this out. And I think it's just single, just a single exclamation mod. And if you guys want to see commands, um, there you go. So there it is, Facebook, and it'll reply to you. Also, you guys can use the um, commands, uh, command, and it will throw everything. It's one single, so if you guys want to see what we've got up there, too, uh, use that one, it'll throw it in. So everybody can click that, it'll tell you what commands are active. Uh, I have added in a sounds one for Z mods because everyone asked about that link. He has got a cell phone now, but most of the stuff on there is is free. 
Um, and uh, so you don't have to necessarily worry about that. So let me go ahead and save that. And it should look like it is. So uh, I think I'm good. So if anything else, uh, yeah, if anything else, you know, creeps up, let me know. We'll fix it. Uh, I don't want that stuff to be wrong here uh, before we get started. Um, all right. So we got that. All right. All right. There we go. All right. <laughs> yeah, it's all right. Yeah, yeah, you'll see. We got a dustpan and a broom. That means we sweep the floors and we jump it in the trash can. So that's all right. Ah, it is good to see everybody, man. It's been a while. It's been a couple of days. Actually, more than a couple of days. Uh, yes, my dashboard did work out just fine. Uh, it's actually behind us. I don't know if you can see it in the table or not. Uh, maybe towards the uh, towards the end or something, I'll walk over there and grab it if you guys want to see what it did. I actually had tidied up all of the cables, so it's uh, pretty legit on the cable side now. It's really nice. All right. I, gotta, I don't know how this cord got down here. What in the world? So such noobish, noobish stream behavior here with the uh, cords that are not correctly fastened up i don't know how these got loose okay all right we'll we'll go with that we'll see how we see how we get along with this um so we'll also go back asphalt gator band <laughs> all right man well taylor said hey what's up uh i never did make skin no i didn't uh just because um i didn't know how many people really had this one how many are actively driving it typically i don't make skins for these trucks um for the really kind of the the really um uh, the, the the payware kind of boutique trucks and it just mainly because I just never know. Um, and, and I hate doing a lot of work for things that people don't drive, you know, around. So they'll have them to have them. And then after that, it's all. So, uh, thanks again, asphalt gator, man. Appreciate the five, uh, very much. So, um, so, all right. What was got here? Truck of my foot. What's up, man? Uh, that's all right, man. It's good to be busy, man. What's up, DJ hoodie. Good to see you. Can't, uh, 315. Uh, want the W9 work on the ATS mods? Works out well with the W9. I'm not sure what the W9. There's a mint. Well, I won't say there's a million, but there's a lot of W9s out there. Uh, depends on what the author is. If you tell me the author cat, I'll probably tell you why. Um, yes. Okay. So Newell asked a really good question. Um, so this truck in itself is more of a custom Freightliner. It is not really um, anything else, but it has obviously the same, a lot of the same uh, nuances that his does have. Um, but you can just see that it's got a it's got a fully different you know the fenders are you've got about four different fenders that are really flared out you've got a lot more options for lighting tons more uh, visors and you've got the stand up and you basically got a flat roof which is the same but it is a different little model I think this is I want to say this is off an 84 85 I could be totally wrong on that it's got a lot more choices of uh, exhaust pipes and that kind of stuff uh, rear fenders. Um, the back is pretty simple though, how they put it together, but honestly, man, it's just, it's kind of a different truck. It just really is. It's got a ton of custom grills. Um, and then it's got its own kind of custom lights on the interior as well. Um, so the whole entire thing is just really a lot, lot, lot more customized and, and a lot more, um, in depth from the custom perspective. Detail wise, I think Ruta's looks better overall, but the Chrome and stuff on Jess's has really gotten really good on this last one. So I would almost put them, especially interiors, I would put them side by side because the dashboards are extremely clean. Um, and here's the Detroit 60 with a, uh, with a load, man. <laughs> Sorry, man. You know, we'll see. Uh, 86, uh, 150, just copy and paste it right back in, buddy. Sorry, I don't really keep my, I don't keep my, my chat going too much on there, so I probably actually need to change that. Let me let me let me scroll this down some so that I can see a little bit more chat. All right, so that one's about as as, as tall as it can go. All right, hang on. My bad. All right, that way I can see a little bit more. All right. Uh, it's the W9 all along, but it says for 140. Uh, if you're not in 140, it will not work. If you are in 140, um, then yeah, there might be something totally else wrong with it. So, I'm gonna reset the wheel. Been out, I've been out of it too long. So, uh, but where stands Lope for? Or what stands the Lope? So the Lope is just the cam in the engine, um, and it's more of an idling characteristic of some engines on the. Um, but it's like, you know, um, 
you know, in America, we have a lot of drag cars and custom cars and have this, this, and we'll call this, this uh, the cam in the truck can really be long. And that thing will just kind of like chug. And the same way with these diesel engines, um, these things will just, so there's a, and it's just really effectively for when you're at the idle, um, something happens in the engine. And I'm not even going to try to explain it to you because I'll have a plethora of people that know better than me will comment to me and tell me what an idiot and an a-hole I am for telling you guys something that wasn't correct. So I'll let them tell you in the comments completely what it was. But, um, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> no lie, no lie. I, I was going to try to be on yesterday trip, man, but it's it's been a um, it's been a kind of a crazy week, man. I've had a lot of stuff going on, which is good, but it's it's been kind of crazy. Hey, happy Thursday! There says Cathedral with the ten dollar man. Appreciate that, buddy. Uh, if you can drive them, so I would say yes and no. Um, D DJ, it, it gets you it gets you at least in the same ball game. Um, it gets you comfortable at least looking and thinking about your trailer clearances. Um, maybe it gets you thinking about shifting if you do the whole, um, you know, float gears and actually have an actual Eaton Fuller. Or at least something that gives you a couple buttons with your hand. It gives you at least the, the, the bare necessities of whether or not, you know, it can actually blend for you, you know. But it's, it's obviously not... I mean, it's like I can go uh, 200 miles an hour in Daytona on night racing, but that doesn't mean I can hop in an actual NASCAR and actually do it, you know. So I think it's uh, I think it helps you just prepare mentally for it, but nothing is going to actually uh, is going to replace the real thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no problem, Frank. <laughs> well, there you go. Uh, Appalachian drone fights thrown in there a little bit. Longer valve strokes, the low position from cam airs being longer to push the longer stroke. There you go. See, told you, man. I wouldn't necessarily said it like that. I'd have just left it in the camp. <laughs> but, you know. <laughs> oh, nice there, 86. Tell him down south. Yeah, man, no problem, buddy. Thank you, man. Oh, oh, we're almost going to miss it. Ah, we missed it. My brakes are not what they ought to be. Oh, boy. Okay. That was a that was a little uh, little Mimi there. I do like it if you leave the Jake Burke on. If you hit it just right, you got to shift just right and get right back on the gas so it stop the Jake brake. But you get this little come on every single time you do it. It's kind of nice. Eh, I'll stay right here for right now. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, I, I've heard a lot better. It's all right. <laughs> uh, probably because your resolution is not uh, up to par there, Duncan. Uh, I don't. Uh, it's not blurry and washed out. Um, you might want to check your res and make sure that you're streaming at a proper 1080. Because um, I'm, I'm throwing you a 6,000-bit stream, so... If you're on a mobile device, uh, YouTube likes to de-res that for you, so you might need to force YouTube to look at it in a different light. But yeah, try that. And see if you uh, try that. And see what you come up with. Uh, Thomas, I think this one is 25, buddy. I think it's 25, and it's good if you're a Freightliner fan. Like it's got to go in your, it's got to go in your, you know, your maybes. It's got a lot of dash op options, color options. It's got about seven or eight different dash. We've done quite a bit with Jess's over the past year. Uh, we've done quite a few streams with this one, so it'd be something worth, uh, you know, going back to, you know, through some of the playlists, you know, for say a couple months ago. Check out and see the Freightliner. Uh, classic XL in the uh, in the streams and whatnot because uh, we've done probably three or four build and drives with this truck, uh, especially after we first got it, just to kind of showcase what everything was on it. So might be something worth going back and uh, and checking out.
I'm Todd Stone, Tom Notch, uh, Tom Notch, uh, I can, um, uh, if you want to DM me, if you have a Fanatec wheel, um, I will, uh, I'll go ahead and just shoot them to you, and, uh, I've got them saved as, as, uh, images, so if you'd rather have them, um, uh, then I'll go ahead and just shoot them to you, on Discord if you want them, man. Nitrix, what's up, buddy? Wants to dash, kind of have the same, kind of have the same without the bottom gauge. You mean... You mean the dashboard in the middle? That on the bottom of the string? Uh, Cat, yeah, he's actually got quite a few more, man. Um, he's got uh, he's got 3406. He's got some new ones coming out. He's got the uh, he's got that Detroit 8V62. Uh, he's working on a C15. Um, so he's actually got quite a few things coming down the pipeline, man pretty legit man mark i have no idea buddy um they said that iberia 140 was due out in april which is a month from now three three and a half weeks um i have no idea if our 140 is going to try to coincide with that or whether or not they are going to try to drop wyoming in the same the same step um i have no idea i really don't and i hate to say that but i really don't have any idea man I can tell you, Michael, I use about 20%. Yeah. And and to be quite honest with you, running three wide on ATS through NVIDIA Surround absolutely sucks. Um, NVIDIA Surround, even if you have a 3080, um, you know, for those that think that, uh, that they're going to straight up kill it even with the 3080, I can tell you, your CPU means, means nothing with ATS. With every other game, CPU plays a good part in helping uh, helping derive some of those graphics and offload them. Uh, ATS is complete GPU. So running even triples, trying to run everything ultra with really good mods, JBX and some of the likes, is almost impossible even on a 3080. Uh, not in stream it. Now I can play it, stream it. It does a totally different thing, and uh, hopefully they get some of that stuff worked out. But. OBS and Streamlabs still have some issues with the 3080 and streaming, but they don't have any of those issues on a 20 series, which is, uh, yeah, which is annoying, but it is what it is, I guess. Let's see, wait a minute, which one is that? Okay, there, ah, okay, it's the wrong button. <laughs> right. Uh, I don't do follows on Instagram. I don't have an Instagram, so, I mean, you can follow me all you want to, but I don't, I don't have an IG for, uh, for MTG. What's up, Kyle Craft? Good to see you guys. Ah, I should go back and throw an, F, uh, an FS. Nah. 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 <laughs> see, let me get around to the front of this one here. Animated antennas. thing actually looks like it's flipping, moving. We're only doing about 65. Looks like it's flying, don't it? Uh, so Zmod, some of them are cat, and all of that is basically so that he can source actually going and recording real trucks. Um, he was telling me last time that his last uh, the cat C15 recordings cost him about four to five hundred dollars a day, um, and that's of rental of the truck, somebody there to help do everything. So basically, paying a driver, rent truck, um, and that way he can record all that he needs to record and take trips and drives along with him so that he can record all those engine sounds the way that. He feels like they ought to be represented in game so it's, it's pretty legit um i'd say that's probably you know from a modders perspective of stuff that you know people that we deal with uh and buy from that's probably one of the most legit reasons to actually pay for something because they're actually going out and sourcing real stuff so uh andrew we started up canada uh so we started up in merit and i believe uh and actually it should say there on the bottom but it might be a little small there on the gauges uh, let me uh, let me turn over here and look. So we're going down to Abbotsford. Abbotsford. Yes. So type in exclamation sounds, cat. That command will throw you right to Zmods. He's he's one of our he's one of our featured guys here on the stream. So. Uh, Twenty-five, fly boy. What's up, man? 
It's either sounds or sound. I think it sounds plural. There you go. Go ahead and check that out, and uh, and that'll link you to all of his stuff. Now he's also got a lot of accessory mods, uh, wind mods. He's got he's got all kinds of stuff. Uh oh. Oh my gosh, man! What the heck, man? Oh, oh, I hate that. <sighs> even crashing in one three nine—that's terrible. That is terrible. I don't even know what that was. Something coming in the city. It didn't like. It did not like it at all. Hey, what's up, David? No problem, man. Wow, you guys are smart, man. <laughs> uh, racing this weekend. ISM, Mark. That's where we'll be this week. Well, I didn't do anything. It's more or less probably what y'all did. Y'all are the salty ones tonight. Tell if you hadn't been streaming in four days. Y'all coming in there with some saltiness tonight. Uh, having issues with what? <laughs> I mean, I do have 60 mods in there, but most of the mods in this 139 stack have been uh, pretty, pretty... Uh, What's up, Key? Good to see you, man. Oh, the game crashing. Well, it's, it's 139. Um, it is 139. And there's got to be something in that city. There's got to be. Because uh, that's when it crashed out. Typically, I, you know what? Let me just go check. I'll just do one quick run through. I do have one idea. I'm to make sure. I took a bunch of stuff out. I'll make sure I got all of it out. Um, cause typically what I find it is, make sure I took all the rest of it out. I did. Yeah, I did take it out. Okay. Well, I don't know what that was. And even going through. Yeah, there's nothing in the console either. It's actually one of the cleanest. Uh, it's one of the cleanest consoles I've had in quite some time in forms of errors. <laughs> hey, thanks, David. Appreciate it, man. I can't wait, man. Uh, their uh, their their stuff has been crazy, man. With uh, their stuff has just been crazy um, under all circumstances with all the, the freezing stuff and the water shortages and water outages that a lot of people and businesses have been having down in, in Texas. That's where their warehousing is. So hopefully um, it'll still be a little bit on warehousing. I'm hoping that we can get that. Um, hopefully we can get some stuff in. But I know the seats weren't even going to be back in until uh, the end of March. So it's gonna, I'm going to I'm gonna play the, the patience game, but it's all good. It's all good. Um, let me. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna jump out of Canada because uh, if I if I if I crashed in one place, I'm probably gonna crash in another. So um, I thought it'd be cool to come out of there, but um, it's fine. I was thinking too. I mean, yeah. See, I didn't. I barely even got an average for for it, so I don't even know there wasn't even other modded areas to do, but. It doesn't matter, I don't guess. Let's um uh, let's uh let's uh let's uh let's uh let's uh let's uh what's another one of my favorite areas to besides Mexico? Hey, trucker by faith there, man. Time for bed. Thanks for all the help and fun times. Absolutely, trucker man, appreciate the ten dollar super chat. Uh thank you, buddy. Appreciate that. Um let's just go down to Fort Collins. I, I like uh, I like being actually you know what let's go over here let's go to let's go to Rangley, Rangley I like Rangley, <laughs> Alabama. <laughs> what? Oh look at that. that's pretty it's pretty uh pretty in front of us. Too bad we're going to see it later. All right, uh, go to Fort Collins. Yeah, David, it is, man. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm super stoked, man. I am super stoked. It's going, it's going to be good, man. It's got a lot of custom options, and I'm gonna be able to do a lot. Oh wow. Okay. All right. So, uh, wow, a second crash in Fort Collins. Holy crap. Uh, well, that's no good, man. 
Uh, that means we've got some trailer issues then. That's exactly what that means. we got trailers that are not loading. Well, that's no good, man. We get to, we get to, we get to mod hunt. See, this is what happens, man. I went up to 140, and I debated coming back down to 139. Um, I debated on coming back down to it, and I just was like, yeah, well, sure, yeah, we'll do it. And, uh, and then I'm, I'm, then I'm like, oof, maybe, maybe, eesh, maybe we shouldn't have. <laughs> I'm going to get rid of these just because I'm not planning on using them tonight. I'll put them back in later. Not a big deal. Uh, you get the Great Dane. Let's get rid of the Vance. I'm going to get rid of all this other stuff that I have not run in forever. Mm. Yeah, because really, that should honestly be pretty much it. Um, all right. Featherlight, Dompker, Legacy, I know was pretty good. I'm going to get rid of the Great Dane because those might be 140s right now. Ooh, I bet those are. I bet those are. It's an adaptation for 140. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So that might be what it was because I actually updated all of these to run in 140, so I bet that's it. We're going to finger cross on that one, so you guys hold your breath. Uh, but we still got those. We'll still do the flatbed. Transcraft is a good one. Um, and then if we have the Lufkins in here, yeah, the Lufkin at East Dump, uh, those are good trailers. I like those. Um, those are a couple of my faves. Let's try that, man. Let's try that. <laughs> yeah, Maurice. Yeah, maybe. Well, there's no other profiles to trial, Thomas. So all of my other ones are one four right now, and they're separated, so. It's all right. I'll figure out what it is. You know, don't don't ever forget, man. Uh, people come to me to fix their profiles. <laughs> uh, typically, I know what it is. It, it's usually, if, especially if you're loading in certain areas, it's typically either truck, traffic trailer, uh, or actual trailers. And a lot of the trailers have freight market uh, values that will load in in the di in the uh, individual spots. So typically, it's uh, it's because you got a bad load in. Um, and the trailer is crashing as soon as it loads in the business. You get close enough to it, it'll load in in the background, and that's where you get the crash. So that's one from uh, Keith Davis, Appalachian Drill Fry. It's from ATS Mod Updates on Facebook. Uh, he updates a lot of those previous were great trailers, um, just solid, solid load trailers, and, uh, and he updates those things um, and keeps the ones up that have been abandoned for, like, years, like before we did the ownership. Makes them all ownership. Uh, that way you can own them and then haul freight market stuff with them. I love the I love the 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 um, the flatbeds, man. Their flatbed loads are so cool. If you like the little smaller regional type hauls, you know, uh, instead of just always grabbing for the concrete barriers and the the pipes and stuff like that. I mean, you've got stuff like you'd be hauling down to a Lowe's or Home Depot, you know, like mulch and sand and all that other stuff in there. So, hey, what's up? Uh, is that you, Hain? Agua, Agua, maybe. Uh, yeah, it's okay. I, I put those. Uh, I put those things in there. I, I put those uh, Discord links in there. All right. So, um, where are we at? We should be loading up here in Reno. Yeah, it'd be nice if you know you actually saw that stuff here. <laughs> let's go over Trailer Manager because we're gonna probably be missing a few things. So let's do. Um, and just because we can, let's just pull up a different trailer as well. Um, I'll pull up this, uh, the Lufkin, actually the East Dump is a good one. I like it. Um, let's throw it on the back here and then we'll just load up here in Reno. We'll pick up out of Reno and then we'll drive. We'll see what happens. Man, it can't be no worse, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, man, it's, it's fine, dude. It's fine. Spirit Wolf. Okay. All right. It's fair enough, man. Uh, W9s that aren't paid. The only W9 that I would recommend that I even know of that actually, well, <laughs> so right now it doesn't work. I had to back that up and spin it around. Uh, Pinga's W9 is awesome. Um, but it is not, um, 
it is not updated for 139 yet. Um, and I'm hoping that he will do that for 140 because it's a great W9. It's custom. It's got the lowered slam chassis if that's your, if that's your jam and you like it. So I would really, really, really like to see that one come back to the to the forefront. But, you know, we'll just we'll just have to see. We'll have to see. Hopefully, hopefully it does. Hopefully it does. That's the only one that I know of. These guys may have a suggestion, and if you do have one for a W9, go ahead and throw it in there. I'm 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 not I don't have anybody that I don't want you, you know, giving uh giving stuff to, so don't worry about it. All right, let's go uh let's pick up here at the rail line sport. Let's take it down some gravel down to uh the sunshine. Uh let's see if we run into any kind of uh nasty little uh things there. I think we got rid of the John Ruta stuff because I forgot that I overwrote all of that stuff in the folder and did not keep any 139 stuff. So we're going to hope uh, that we got everything. Yeah, this truck mod is in the links. If you do exclamation mod or if you look in the description, it's already in there for you. Uh, yes, Steven, it is not compatible yet. I'm back in 139, actually. I know I've been in 140 for a while, but I'm actually back in 139. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Is that Jaitlin? Or Jadalyn? No problem. Matt Eccles, what's up, man? Uh, somebody asked me if I like or play SnowRunner. I do not. And if anybody asks, we are in a 13 speed today. Hey, what's up, Gold? Yeah, man, it's good, man. It is good. Uh, they're actually behind me. You probably can't see it because the camera's in the way. But I, I figure towards the end of, end of stream or something, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll go up there and grab it. But everything's good. Uh, everything works. All the lights work. All the shift lights work. I got the shift light mount. The shift light mounted. Um, so I'm pretty much good to go on everything else. I just need the uh, need the rig to be able to put it in, man. Oh, it did it do two alerts in there? Two alerts or oh that's weird, it did it again. I don't know if he did I don't know if he donated twice. If he didn't, thanks. He probably didn't mean to. <laughs> uh yeah uh voice chat? Uh, I'm not in voice chat. Uh, you can join voice chat with any of the other guys, but I'm I'm not in it. Not right now. Not while we stream. There's some weird LOD values here in uh, in Sierra Nevada. I'm not exactly sure what goes on sometimes, but if you ever see mountains disappear in certain ways, like there's something going on with the level of detail. And that's not really something. I think that's map. Like, I can't really control that. So if you see a, ma a mountain disappear, <laughs> that's not me. <laughs> yeah, Joda, dude. Yeah, speaking of the choir, man, speaking of the choir. Whoops, that was not our turn. Whoops, I'm glad we made it through that, didn't I? <laughs> it's <a> terrible, man. <laughs> uh, we do play TMP. Uh, there's just been so many people that have went ahead and, and they have uh, have adverted up to a 140 that I have just not pushed. Um, I just haven't pushed doing that. Um, it just, uh, at least for... It's always good to get a break, um, you know, when we're doing our stuff uh, and doing the TMP stuff. It's always good to get a little bit of a break in there. Uh, but at some point, I'm, I'm always still a little bit, um, I'm still always a little bit apprehensive of just trying to throw them together just to get, you know, 15 guys together. 
Um, it usually winds up being a little bit of work and then people wind up not showing up. They can't downgrade to 139. They don't know how to. And then so it just becomes, it's just, I don't know, it just becomes this meme trying to get everybody together. So um, what I typically do is, this one has just been a really, really, really long, um, this has just been a long time coming. So I'm not sure when the light at the end of the tunnel is going to be, uh, but I'm hoping sometime soon we kind of have at least an idea uh, when we are going to get some TMP stuff going. And they've updated some stuff. Uh, they've done a lot of good work on the sounds, but we're still waiting to, you know, obviously 140 to drop like they are. So. Well, I've, I've been in voice chat most of the day um, so you guys are welcome to come in those voice chats whenever you see me in there hanging out with all the guys I mean I, I don't I don't just hide away and, and don't talk to anybody now if you're talking about real life hangout uh, y'all yeah, I usually put a stop to that I'm not a big fan of real life hangouts like no youtuber is <laughs> oh you know what Joda dude I was the same way everybody was we were like wait a minute you guys haven't even released 140 in Iberia. Why are y'all, you know, smoking everybody's, uh, why are y'all getting everybody all excited, man? <laughs> I was like, what are they trying to do? <laughs> all right, let's head on up there. Uh, make sure it's the right way to go here. Here we go. And I heard to April, I was like, you know, the only thing that we kind of thought about in there was the fact that that might be trying to, cor uh, you know, correlate that release with like potentially a Wyoming. So you get a 140 Iberia and then a Wyoming release. But I, I don't think that'll happen. They've never a tandem released DLC like that. They always release one and let the overall initial like wow factor go. And then they take the other game and they update it or they add something new to it, a new DLC or something like that. So it's always like a. Yeah, because they know a lot of the ETS guys will still go over and buy that. They know a lot of ET, I mean, ATS guys will still go over and will still go and buy the um, the other stuff. So I tell you what, I, I like I like this little Detroit Diesel man. This thing sounds sounds pretty good. Uh, the engine Jacob comes in, it, buddy. Yeah, it's, it comes with the truck. And that's why, uh, you know, I've never run this. I always run one of the other guys, you know, the normal normal ones that we uh, that we typically run here with stream. So the fact coming out here and actually racing one that was in the engine, I was like, oh, heck. I was like, where did this come from? Okay, so they're going to let me go, which is always weird when they do this. And I have to make a, to make a right turn, too. If you are curious, we are on the Sierra Nevada. This is uh, the Team Reforma from the Viva Mexico series. Um, so if this Reno looks different than yours, that is why. And this is a very popular uh, part of the U.S. map, and it is really, really, really done well. Those guys do a killer job with their mapping. Steven, they've had a ton of bugs to kind of contend with here with this one. So, you know, I'm hoping that they get a lot of that stuff kind of, um, you know, I hope they get it fixed um, and get a good bit of that stuff kind of out of the way through the open beta. I know they've probably, I mean, I feel like they've redone the, I feel like they've redone the beta at least four or five times. And I have different performance for, you know, all different kinds. So I'm, I'm kind of like to the point where I'm like, well, I just want to get them right, you know. So that's why I downgraded to 139. A little bit easier to try to keep up with mods, what was performing well, what was, you know. And nothing's updated right now, you know. 
So it's kind of tough to like pull new stuff in stream and show you guys trucks that are out there that either will be updated or that are updated for 139. Stuff that we haven't done for a while, you know, I was like, oh, I'll just go back to 139. Uh, we'll throw up some different stuff, show you guys just things that we don't normally do. Normally we're in JBX. Today we're actually running the Realistic Graphics mod that's gotten quite a few updates. And I said, you know, well, let's, I'll go back and I'll, I'll revisit the uh, Realistic Graphics mod, run it for, you know, a couple days. Uh, check it out. There's a couple of other ones out there that exist now. Um, I figure we'd just give all of these a try and just kind of, you know, ride the wave until 140 kind of drops. Uh, 140 is, is incredible. Uh, it looks great. Um, it is a very, 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 very pretty sim. Uh, it is going to run really hefty, uh, even on good systems like myself, uh, where you're running a 3080. It still takes an absolute toil on the GPU. Um, and, you know, the thing that's amazing is even with my CPU now is at a 10.9, um, I, I don't think yet with anything ATS I've been over 22% on a CPU. And that's running literally everything. Um, but your GPU will be completely maxed out. And there's no delineation between the two. Like, there's no handoff to CPU. There's no handoff to GPU like you will find in a lot of AAA titles. Um, so 140 is going to be hugely, I don't want to say unoptimized, but I do feel like... I do feel like that's where we're headed. Uh, the level of optimization on that is going to really have to pick up. Um, if guys that are could once run ATS, that might be the first time where we have guys running in 139 that literally can't run 140, which will be which which will be not really not sad, um, but it'll it'll be it'll be kind of crazy to finally like witness that that finally witness that that block. You know, what's up, Husk? Brian King, appreciate it, man. Thank you there for ten dollars, man. Can't wait to see one four zero. Well, me either. I mean, I'm I'm kind of hoping they'll do it just for, just for like sheer of updating. Oh, it will be nice one day. Yeah, uh, four hundred. Yeah, four hundred percent is going to be tough, man. It, but honestly, you're not going to need it. Uh, I, you know, and I I will say that the sim itself on lower graphic settings looks just fine. <laughs> like you're not going to be able to. But it's like people think they can run, you know, triple 4Ks on a 3080 or 3090. It's not going to happen. The tech's just not there yet. The tech inside the ATS engine is just not there yet. Um, I guess they're, you know, it's totally different from iRacing, uh, any of the other racing sims that we've done, Forza, Forza 7, Forza Horizon. It doesn't matter. I can do dirt. I can mush those things. I can scale the heck out of those games. I can run them at complete ultra. could run them at 120 frames. And this thing just completely laughs at it. Run ATS and do all that stuff, and this 3080 will still cough all day through it. You think you're smoking a pack a day. Uh, it's crazy. Um, ATS is just, it is a hog for memory, and then we add these unoptimized mods on top of that, and it does the same thing, and then we add JBX on top of that that requires all this stuff to be at absolute max scaling um, for it to look the way it's supposed to. And then the next thing you know, it's the same exact thing all over again. So it's, um, you know, getting in, a, being an ATS long enough, uh, it's just a very unoptimized game. Um, the optimization happens somewhat in the mapping and, the, you know, in the sky and also in the trucks that you're actually driving in. Um, so if you're driving in default trucks, they're going to be better. Uh, but by the time you add on some of these mods and stuff, then it just completely tanks and cuts it right out. So I think the, the overall modders are going to have a lot to do in forms of actually trying to figure out how to best optimize their mods. Um, and that may be the first thing in our reviews and our walkthroughs like, hey, guys, this is not very optimized. Guys that are right on the brink of being able to run it comfortably might be like, yeah, I'm not going to buy it. It's, it's, it's not optimized enough, you know. So that, those will at least hopefully be some things, and you guys can use my system as a benchmark uh, in figuring out what's, uh, you know, what's going to be the best, uh, the best case scenario for your systems as well. So. And I'm also talking about triple monitors as well. I'm not talking about a single monitor. ATS on a single monitor is going to be fine, but uh, you can also gauge it in percentiles. Um, so even running a 139 like this, I mean, we're still be in the 75 to 85 percentile plus streaming as well, plus running OBS on a four screen. Always takes a big toil, um, you know, on any system. I don't care if it's new or not. <laughs> Fair enough, Michael. 
What's up, B. Baker? Good to see you, man. <laughs> yeah, the lighting is where it's always been, man. It has always been. Always been a bear. Always. And really, for every game, man, the lighting is the dynamics, the, the dynamics of the lighting really do play a huge, huge, huge role. And that's something that, you know, you're always going to, I don't know, you're always going to deal with in any game. Um, is having that huge hit to that is going to be something, you know, something you'll just have to deal with. So, uh, Rich, this one actually comes in. Uh, this is uh, part of the truck itself, man. It is, it is, uh, it is nice, man. Uh, it's a Detroit Series 60 with a lope and a pretty decent Jake break. It's all right, man. But you can always get you a, uh, profile. I've got some here in, um, I've got some in the Discord. I've got two profiles for one for ATS and one for ETS. And you can certainly download and then try it. Upgrade, use that profile to do 140 and then if you don't like it or can't run it or it's just not what you thought it would be then you can always revert back pull out of the beta go back to the profile that you had before not a big deal man not a big deal well thanks jeff i appreciate it oh and by the way man jeff tanner thank you there for five dollar super chat before we got started man i appreciate that i didn't uh give you a big shout out there but uh because that was right before stream i almost forgot when we got live but thank you man appreciate that appreciate that a lot uh we got taken out husky yeah uh, we we were we were about halfway through the race, and uh, old boy decided that he would uh, stick it three wide uh, on a restart, and uh, had the uh, you know I had basically the middle line at the first marker, um, and I knew it was three wide because he pulled down and wanted to make it three, and uh, the problem was his car never really got it on the inside. He was on the inside, he just was not in the inside lane, so I had no way of knowing that he was where he was. Um, it's just he never got his car on the bottom. So he basically kind of stayed on like the inside middle halfway, you know. And when I stayed in the middle, it's just he just we he, he came up and pitted me. And I went off to the left and then rolled back up in front of everybody, took a bunch of people out. So it was great. It was a great time, man. It was a great time. <laughs> uh, I mean, I was pretty ticked about it just because, you know, I don't know, it's one of those things, man. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, whoa. Why so slow? We just about had a bad night. <laughs> Woo. All right, man. Tired of Xbox? I hear you, man. I hear you. You can actually do a lot with ATS on a single monitor. You know, you don't have to build a beast PC. Um, to play it, you know, if you want to start talking into like triple monitors with ATS, then you gotta gotta do some finagling to get get the extra PC. But uh, I figured I'll too. I'll, I'll drive. Let's see, was it 1011? We'll drive for a little bit. Let's see how much longer we got. 186. We might just deliver this one, and then we'll 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 pop it back daylight. Great for the sport, great for the fans. Yeah, not really, Joe. Even that one was terrible, man. I was like, well, if you're going to stick your nose down in there, you got to get on the inside lane, man. You you can't can't be in somebody's blind spot even with a spotter saying down low well of course you're down low but i'm in the middle you force the three wide so it's your job to stick your line and if you can't stick it then that's your problem not mine i'm just the one that's going to serve the uh i'm gonna serve the l for that one you know what i mean <laughs> i know we did man i know man it was it was terrible man I've almost forgotten this. Thanks for reminding me. Appreciate that, guys. Y'all are awesome, man. Hey, uh, how did your race go? Meanwhile, he sneakered behind the chat window. I'm sure it'll go like this week's will. ISM is always an absolute mean fest to people that don't put enough hours on the track to get better at it. Um, Scotty McGrady. Yes. Yes. Uh, yes, uh, I may have run Pingas once or twice. Um, actually, come to think of it, I probably did. The purple one, the purple and white one was Roland's. Um, and if I did the black and yellow one, that was Pingas. Yeah. Uh, 
Yep. Ta-da! Uh, you can get the engine mod by downloading the truck because the truck has this engine in it. Yeah, so it's pretty cool, man. Uh, sorry, Rich. Uh, this one, I'm using the Realistic Graphics mod. It was one of the other freebies out there. Uh, Natural Lux, I believe in Project Next Gen, I think both have an ATS version. Whether or not they're updated on 139, I need to check. I think Natural Lux is. Um, it was a big ETS one before they moved over to uh, before they moved over to, to do something there for for uh, ATS. Um, I will, but I, I may I may try to grab those in here in the next couple of uh, next couple of days. We'll try to feature some of those uh, some of those graphics mods that we never really took much of a second look at. What's going on, big homie? How are you, man? Good to see you, buddy. Yeah, I'm going to run the wall. <laughs> yeah. I am not on the beta, Stefan. I'm still at 139, man. I, I, I actually downgraded. Uh, I downgraded for you guys just to show something different than just the standard default trucks, you know, in 140. Um, go back to some of our mods that worked and maps that worked and all that other good jazz. Uh, yes, rolling right, rolling right now, Scotty. Right, everything actually is one three nine, and that's including Frankenstyle. So Frankenstyle does have one four zero, uh, like betas, but all of his stuff is still categorized under like the umbrella of. Uh, it's all still one three, nine. Um, and so if you download them from there, they should be one three nine, unless he's changed it in the last week. Um, the only other one, uh, Roland's, will not update until 140 goes live. So yes, you are you are correct in that. Uh, not really, Joda. You can't without a lot of extra work. Um, none of those races count, and and I don't do it enough, and I have enough problems just getting convoys together on Fridays and Saturdays. And what I found with our first group that we tried with another group, it was just really hard because you had some people that were really serious and some people that had never raced a day in their life. Um, and so it was extremely frustrating to guys that had a little bit of time into it. And even though everyone says they want to do it, typically you only have a handful of guys that actually say they can do it. So. And our racing is like everything else. You got to do the right class. You got to do the right track that people have cars for and they have tracks for. Because if you don't, you know, if you want to do, uh, you know, sometimes the tracks makes people pay for them if you've got them. And you have to still pay for cars like for Xfinity, Truck Series. Uh, I think the Cup car you come at least with the ZL1, but, you know. And that, that's all. It's, I don't know, man. It's just, it's kind of a, it's kind of a tough sell. Kind of a tough sell. Yeah, no, no, no lag here. I don't know why y'all say that. I did say Stefan. <laughs> Every now and again. Um, no. How can you download real companies? You just download it, man. Just download it. I don't, there, there should be no reason why. Like, I, I don't even have. Uh, I, I'm not sure why you want me to. Um, most of all of uh, those mods and stuff, share mod links and stuff, they all react and, and they all do the same. So if if you wanna if you wanna go grab one of those links, uh, and if one of the mods is in here, if you guys can just throw him uh, throw my video about downloading mods safely. Um, that at least gives you some things to kind of watch out and protect yourself with. But outside of that, man, it's um, the real company mod um, is on a lot of the sites for 140. And the one that was on the Steam Workshop, to my knowledge, has been updated for 139. So it should still be good. Well, I don't have the link for it because I don't run it. Sorry, man. Yeah, I, I don't. I, I typically don't just download links just to give people because 
I, I, I literally have access to what you guys have. So if there's a if there's a mod that's out there, I, I don't, you know, I don't have it any different. Alex, I, <laughs> you put that in chat like a couple times, man. I, I got it, man. I got it. He actually released that video and uh, that little teaser like a week ago. <laughs> you like it, be bigger. I was, I've never heard it, man. It's, it's been one of those that has been like the, the ever elusive engine mod. Like, yeah, I always like it the first time that, uh, that we actually like hear and see something different, you know? Because, you know, typically we always got Z mods and we got this in, we got that in. Well, Stefan, uh, yeah, that's that's probably your internet, man. I mean, we we, we got a smooth stream going, man. It's uh, it's got to be on your end. You could try, you know, changing the resolution on your stream, but yeah, it's 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 not lagging for me. Oh yeah, Scotty, tell you, man, it's good stuff, man. I mean, uh, Johnny Cash did a good job on that N14, man. It's really good. The, uh, the triple four Cummins out of Creatures Pack is really good, too. That's another, like, kind of real gritty engine sound, you know? Like, this uh, this 60 series is really, I think, besides the Lope, it's a really clean engine sound, you know? Um, but it, it, it's not real, like, dirty sound, if that makes sense. But those other two, they're, they're kind of, like, dirty nasty. <laughs> yeah, they're good stuff, man. What's up, Riley? How are you, man? Good to see you. We got about uh, 20 miles left. 20 miles, and then we'll make a daylight. I would say we'll make it rain in here, but uh, I'm not feeling that tonight. <laughs> yeah, yeah we, we, talk, we talked about it a while back uh, when that announcement came out, Alex. It's, it's all good, man. Drip Sassa, what's up, buddy? What's up, Kales? How are you, buddy? Citizen of the stars. <laughs> A little Jess Mods tonight, man. So what you think about that? Yeah, you get the uh, you get the appearance of a of a you get the appearance of a moon, but you never see the moon itself. <laughs> yeah, never get the moon itself. Oh, good man, it's good to see you, Riley. So this is the uh, this is the uh, Detroit Series 60. This is right out of the truck. So this engine comes with the truck. Um, I actually just tried to download this, uh, not download it, but I tried to just run it in his truck. And I flipped through some of the engines that it already had because I noticed there wasn't a lot of my uh, previous engines actually worked with it. So I was like, well, let me see what he's actually got. Um, and then we'll, uh, I might find something, a gem in there that sounds pretty good that's, um, you know, that's something we don't normally hear. And this is the one that originally came in. It was the Detroit 60 
with the load. And I was like, yep, 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 yep. We got to do that. Even for a Detroit Diesel, I was like, they'll still, most of the guys will appreciate this. I, I do, John. Uh, I like their trucks, man. I like the custom. Of, uh, the, I like, so it's weird, man. I'm, I'm, I'm not your typical diehard either way. Like, I, I still like a clean chrome truck. Um, I still like, I, I still will appreciate a Freightliner. Um, Cascadia, that is like your, uh, you know, that's your normal delivery, man. I, I, it does not matter to me. It really doesn't. So I am totally cool either way. We can either run uh, the really custom stuff and Texas Chrome is no different. I think they're all things that every single truck, you know, modern needs to do to clean things up, but that's just personal preference, you know. A lot of things are uh, there because somebody else wanted them in there and they got them in. So it's like, okay, fair enough, you know. But I like them. You know, we've we've done videos on those, and I'll be quite honest with you. Unless I don't know the mod exists, I typically will not do a mod for you guys that I don't agree with, don't like, um, or don't really want to be part of selling it for someone. And it's not just uh, necessarily like, oh, well, I don't like this guy. I'm not selling his mod. Uh, sometimes it's price. Sometimes it's, uh, you know, it could be just not being able to get in touch with a guy, not knowing that the mod exists. And other times it's just, nah, I'm just not really, I don't want to push this over to the guys and then them be mad at me that I said, hey, it's a good truck, go buy it. You know what I'm saying? I just feel like there's a lot of responsibility as a YouTuber to not lead you guys down the wrong path when it comes to mods. So if you see me featured on the channel, then I'm typically almost 99.9% .9 like I'm in agreement that that truck was worth showing for a live stream, uh, payware or not. So, and it's some of these trucks, especially the expensive ones, Roland 3D9 plus the Texas Chrome, those are like what I consider specialty trucks. And those have to be like your jam a truck. You know what I'm saying? Um, they've got to be the truck that you really like. You like having, like the, you know that, that that Southern Texas kind of chrome, like all over the dash interior. You know, like you've got to have that kind of uh, that style of customization. Has got to be your thing. If it's not, and you like a really top-notch, clean, you know, Southern 389, eh, it's probably not going to be your choice number one. You know what I'm saying? All right, we'll swing away out here. We'll see if we can get this bad boy back in with a stretched. <sighs> nice one. So two-stroke diesels, which is going to be a Z mods, is working on one. And you can type in exclamation sounds, and it will take you to a link where you can watch the uh, the video for that one if you want to see it. Go think of there, Joe. That y'all man using those, there's using those hot links and commands for the chat. <laughs> All right, let's see here. All right, let's cut her in. Not too far. Whoops, we went too far. Went too far. Well, some of these two, the, the light reflection on these are somewhat adapted for the realistic graphics mod. Uh, guys always want to see new stuff, and I typically don't put any of the other stuff in here. Like, I don't run any other graphics mods, you know, except for JBX. JBX, you get spoiled seeing JBX stuff all the time. Um, so what you're looking at is realistic graphics mod. Not bad, but on the day on the dark textures it's definitely duller but once you get into the morning then things brighten up shine up quite a bit hey what's up there tim boo good to see you there man am i gonna get this is it gonna let me have that am i that far out oh i'm just barely there come on man come on ats Yes, you'll find, I mean, you know, you still got the, 
the barren textures of ATS at dark anyway, just because of the just because of the way they do their chrome textures at night. I'm not sure why they do it that way. I'm like, man, shine these things up. Let's see if it'll give it to us here. There we go. Hey, what's up, Postman? Good to see Postman in the house. Good to see you, man. All right, let's do a little continue. Uh, let's see, where are we at? We are jackpot. Is that right? Yes. Okay. Uh, we'll see what we got in jackpot. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and make it daylight. Uh, I use the NASCAR Fanatec wheel. Um, it just doesn't have the big block in the middle of it. Let's see. Let's do um, 5 o'clock. Nope. All right. Let's try 6 o'clock. Yep. There we go. All right. So let's see what we got down here in jackpot. At this point, we can do whatever. Um, currently, nothing in jackpot. All right. Uh, let's actually... Tell you what, let's just see what's in freight. Let's see what's in freight market. I don't know how what trailers I have in here. I know I have the Transcraft drywall. Where's that going? Oh, we have so. Oh, oh, that's way too far. We ain't doing that. Going down to Selena. All right, what you guys want to see? You want to do the crawler tractor, or the drywall? Drywall is a freebie. Uh, crawler tractor is on the. Uh, that's on the heavy all trailers. What you want to do? Y'all y'all tell me, man. Y'all tell me. <laughs> I've seen it. My wife loves that easy rider. <laughs> yeah, my yeah, my wife loves that. She wish she used to watch it all the time. I I I'm kind of eh, that matter to me. <laughs> That's always heavy all tractor. Clinton Ricketts, what's up, man? Uh, all right, looks like I'm seeing a lot of crawlers. All right. Uh, yes. Let's retire this trailer real quick. Antonio Reed, what's up, man? All right, going to pick up one. We haven't, we haven't done a, oh, that's right here. Well, how convenient for us. I about to say, we have not done a, uh, what do they call it, a hook and drop? Whoops. I about said a hook and loop. I said, oh, that's a thing. That's a, thing. That's a knot. No, oh, thank you, Robert. I, I try, man. I, I try. I try to give you my best every night. <laughs> Uh, oh, we get to pick colors. Let's see what colors we got. We got any yellow in here? No. Really? Red, blue, black. What do y'all want? Y'all want red? Ooh, there's the low boy triples. Well, they got triple triples. They got double doubles. Oh, I see what they got. Yeah, nice. What is this one? Oh, it's just on a low boy double. Ooh. Dropping hook. That's what it is, gear. <laughs> Yeah, I say hook and drop. <laughs> uh, Scotty McGrady, this is uh, uh, Jess Mods. It's uh, it's in the the description, man. <laughs> uh, yeah, dropping it. Yeah, uh, yes, I have seen it on Facebook. Yeah, oh, blue to match truck. I bet I bet the blues will be awful. <laughs> you watch. We'll we'll do the we'll do the long one. I, I bet the blues totally are off off match. But I will say, realistic uh, graphics mod has always been good at the sunrise and sunset. It's a it's a very pretty uh, it's a very pretty one there, sir. Hey, Highland Woodruff, hope you're doing well. Bit a bit late tonight. Glad I managed to catch stream after crap week tuning in from work all night shift again. Well, thank you there for the twenty dollar super chat, man. I appreciate that, man. Thank you there, Highland Wood Wolf. Alright. Hey 
Thank you, man. Appreciate that, buddy. All right, here we go. Can't remember if we have advanced coupling on or not, so I'll, I'll come to this one a little bit slower. Just in case. All right. Hey, we roll it, man. <laughs> I'm thinking they're Freightliner. All right, let's see. Are the blues too bad? They're not bad, I guess. I I'm a little bit darker. I'm like a, I'm not like a darkish greenish blue. Is something or another. So we are headed at 350 miles down to Reno is where we're headed. Also, oops, not bad. Should have saw me coming. I kind of was way out there. I sound like doo-doo, really? I, I like this. I like this one, man. I, I like it because I don't feel like I can heal that. I can hear that same loop, like really long. I don't know. I like this engine sound though. I feel like it's a mixture. I feel like it's got a little bit of coming sound files in there with mixed with some, you know, Detro diesel sounds in there. But it's got some really throatiness in the lower RPMs. I'm like, yeah, I don't think that's a Detroit diesel. But okay, whatever. I'll go with it. <laughs> Yeah, uh, Bubba, you might I, you might need to reload that because I fixed all that pre-stream. And I actually set that up for Blades, and then I changed my mind and did a did a Jess mod, so that's why it was like that. I just forgot to change it. I know you can't get Jess mods on Blades, so fun. That's okay, Joe. They probably never liked you either. The feeling was mutual. <laughs> yeah, I'm just kidding, man. Oh, I love doing that chat now. People say, I never liked it. Yeah, you know, it probably never liked you either. But it's cool. Y'all can be mutually exclusively haters of one another. <laughs> oh, I like it when I can joke with y'all. Y'all get salty with me? Well, Joe didn't get salty. Some guy's been salty tonight, man. It's like, wow, if you haven't been around, man, I'm gonna freaking let him have it tonight. Stream. Let him know he ought to be streaming more. Uh, it'll work for anything, Robert. It'll work for trucking. I, all those gauges will work for our, uh, I mean, for trucking. Yeah, they all will. <laughs> oh, I'm just kidding, Jonah. I'm just kidding, man. I feel like a. Hey, you never know, man. Some people get really touchy whenever I pick back at them, you know. They, they don't like it when I pick back at them in chat. Trust me, I have to read the messages the next morning. Still hauling from the Yukon. All right, man. You up there in gold mining country, or what you up there in the Yukon for? That is gold mining country, right? That's where all the gold miners do. Of course, I know the Yukon is a really, really big space. So, it might be that you're just, you know. Yeah, man. That looks good, man. You see a loaded uh, Freightliner hauling out. <laughs> Everybody be like, no, nah, it's not true, man. I don't believe it.
Oh, uh, yeah, I, 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 I know, Jonah. I know it's 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 hard sometimes, man. It's hard to delineate uh, emotion in text, you know. Lunch on that one. Okay, we're trying to catch chat. We're still hauling. Oh, you betcha. All right, man. Very cool, man. Very cool. Oh, to you there, uh, Ace. <laughs> no whether I should out at you or call you a furry. Oh, you're missing that W. My bad. <laughs> you're missing the W. Uh, Howl 29, what's up, man? This is 139. It's a 139, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all, oh, yeah, man. All I need is a biggie in the background. Okay, I'll stop. It would be nice if they if they if they waved independently, like they're a perfect synchronization. <laughs> oh, are <laughs> oh, you like it really, Wolf? You like it better than the N14 one? <sighs> so I, so here's what I think, um, and and I, I would tell Zemot this. Um, I think I think Zmod sounds always evolved like over time. Like it's interesting to me. Um, I thought when that when that sound pack first came out, I was like, wow. And just because it was so raw. And I think you know like over the time of like constantly messing with it, he's kind of like toned it down on a lot of fronts, including the J break, including like that initial. When he first did the 3406, it was a lot like the N14. And then as it got on, it got really bassy and really like, you know, when you did something, it was just kind of weird. And I almost kind of like, I almost kind of think it's moving in that direction. Um, and I would almost love to do like a comparison video. Oh, what the? Wow. What the hey, man? Wow. My gosh. I don't know how much water I can take that turn, man. Goodness gracious. All right, well, we're going to have to straighten this one out. My bad, guys. Sorry. That turbo whistling up. Yeah, I know, man. Pretty soon we're gonna go live on Facebook and put a wreck counter on there. <laughs> Cause you know everybody needs to know how bad I suck at driving a game. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nothing to see here, folks. Yeah, we're just seeing how fast we get around that turn. I, could, I thought I had enough on that, man. Evidently, we didn't bring enough mustard to the roast beef sandwich. My bad. <laughs> My bad. I don't know if it wasn't necessarily a safe. We, we kind of failed there, man. <laughs> yeah, I am salty about that, man. I am salty about that, Jonah. I am a Morton salt factory over here when it comes to that. <laughs> I would always have fun at someone else's expense. That's the way the world works, right? As long as that fun is not poked at you, everything's all right. What are we? What are we stopping here for? Pulling for a vehicle inspection. Yeah, yeah 64. I feel like we are absolutely flying. This is 64. I'm like, what in the world is wrong here? I couldn't gravy, man. Wow, 
I did see it, so I probably do have to count it at that point. I hate I can't be this funny in the beginning of the of the video. No, we, we had we had we had you know mod issues this morning. I mean, uh, before the stream, <laughs> it's like we ever have mod issues. It only happens every once in a while, uh, once in a while. But we got it fixed though. That's all that matters. It's a good shot there. I think there's good parts to realistic graphics mod. You know, it's not all bad. I think sometimes the weird part with the realistic graphics mod is the colorations and the saturation uh, in the color sometimes. I feel like the uh, reflection levels are, are greatly diminished, um, and then uh, and then there's other parts about this that I actually think are really realistic and very very like really nice. It's got some nice skyboxes in there. I think the um, I, I really think realistic graphics mods uh, nighttime no no sorry not nighttime rain and like really cloudy foggy textures are like really legit. I think it does a really good job with those. Hey, thank you there, Diesel Power. Appreciate it, man. Uh, setting that will allow me to shift and split gears without the clutch after the first gear. Yes, Timothy. Um, I think I go over that in my float gears video. Um, which, generally speaking, it's weird. The float gears video gets nothing but comments from Jamaicans now. It's so weird. And they're always like, Jamaican guys over here laughing. I'm like, uh, last I checked, it was not a float gear Jamaican style. I guess I need to do that video so that they can go comment to that one. I really think it's kind of odd. Yes, Wolf Game has got you there, buddy. Uh, so if you go where it says, like, Eaton Fuller 13 or 18 speed, whatever you want to type in there. Um, oh, we're going back to Team Reforma now. Um, so this is new map here. This is not default if you're curious. Um, yes, follow what he said right there. That's what you're looking for. And that will allow you to shift without the clutch, and then it will actually... Because one of those does not allow, when you pull the shifter out of into neutral, it will not allow it to go into neutral. It basically keeps it in gear for you until you go into the next gear, and then it does it. Um, so you want the advanced one. And then the the, the other one there that says um, clutch or throttle, that's when you want to split it uh, between low and high. Um, so if you want to flip your range there between low and high, you can do that by just letting off the throttle, and you don't have to clutch it. Yeah, no problem, Tim. I don't use it either. I use it to start off. I kind of hate having to even do that, but you know, I use it to start off, and, and in case I get in a pinch and don't have the gear, don't know which one to put in, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll grab a gear when I need to. But yeah, for the most part, I pretty much slow down, speed up now with uh, with all all uh, all floating, which is kind of nice. Once you get the hang of it, man, it's it's actually a lot of fun. <laughs> Jonah, that's what I want to say. I'm like uh, laughing because why? Your truck's in the shop because you've done completely shot the transmission and clutch out of it. <laughs> my bad that my truck's still rolling on the ground. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, yes, fourth Jendetta, yes. So I had a, me and the wife had to like, we had to figure it out and discuss it. So I think I was going to be too complicated for it. So we're just going to pre-order hats at a certain limit. And I'm going to do a pre-order. And if we need another run, then we'll order another run. Uh, we're going to try to keep things at 50, 50 runs, 50 hat runs. So I'm going to put up a pre-order this week um, or this weekend. That is going to be a pre-order for 50 hats. First 50, first come, first serve is going to get a hat. Um, and then after that order, if we still have more people that want more hats, then we'll order another 50. And then that way, um, even if we get, say, 25 of those and I have 25 hats left over, I can build those as basically buy on demand. So if you want a hat, I've got them here in-house. Come grab one. And then you can just basically do it through PayPal. Uh, you can donate it through Stream on PayPal, through Stream Elements, get a shout-out, make a note that you want it for the hat. Um, and that way we can let you know what shipping and I can let you know what the pre-order price is going to be. Um, and we're going to do a flat rate shipping for everybody uh, is what our goal is um, and not try to figure out every single thing on there. Um, so that should uh, that should work out better uh, for everybody because we're going to try to work that in so we don't have to deal with, you know, a lot of back and forth and like you guys having to wait a, a, a numerous amount of uh, time on this. I did check on 50 hats printed. It takes about two and a half to three weeks max. That's pretty doggone good. So I was like, yeah. 
because uh, there's nothing worse than pre-ordering for something and then having to wait like two months on something like that. You know what I'm saying? So I'm 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 kind of I'm kind of I'm kind of jacked about it, man. I think it's gonna be good. It'll be it'll be it'll be really nice. Uh, will it eat in ten speed? You mean like a real one? I have no idea. Whether or not it would work would be a different different uh, different scenario. Race Garrett, this is the default trailer. <laughs> we just picked up a freight market heavy haul, so we got the uh, we got the crawler tractor on. Uh, we got it pulling into Reno, so we're on the 80 South. Southbound. We'll have to see if we do 30 of each or a 50 of each. Um, I'll have to check and see where the price point difference of that is. Um, I may just go with one. Uh, for now, and then and then maybe do another. So if you get one, you can get one now. Then I'll do another 50 run of the other one. Um, I really just bought the two hats to see which one um, you know I liked better. But honestly, I liked both of them. <laughs> I thought I was like, wow, both of these hats are actually really nice. Actually, probably my favorite is the red, white, and blue one. Uh, but nonetheless, you know. I wonder why it's throwing up double double alerts in there. It's weird. Got double alerts going on tonight. It's weird it throws it up a long time afterwards. Regardless, thank you there, Highland. Yeah, it's weird. Mm. We're straight up cruising back down here, man. This is kind of nice. So I am curious, and I, I told myself I was going to do this a while back, but as we are waiting for stuff to happen here in 140, I am curious from you guys here in chat, what are uh, some things in in and revolving around ETS or ATS, either or, um, that you guys would want to see a video on? And I mean things that would legitimately help you, help you in your game, uh, maybe a video that I could update. Just try to gauge um, if there's anything that's out there uh, that you guys say, you know, and I'm talking to something besides installing Trucker's MP. Um, if there's something out there you guys would love to see my take on something, um, feel free to always drop those in the DM on Discord if you guys want to. Um, I think that would, um, I think that would be, you know, good. I don't mind that. Um, I actually kind of enjoy it when guys say, hey man, you ever done a video on such and such? I like, I'd really like that. And honestly, that came. That's how the uh, the video on the uh, the company mod came up. Uh, people want to see me do a video on uh, actually adjusting the graphics and stuff and putting all that stuff together. So that's what we wound up doing. <laughs> Thank you, man. Appreciate that, Jenna. <laughs> Yeah, I, I know, I know, Alan. I know. I don't know why I did that. I don't have it in there twice. It did the same thing with uh, Trucker by Faith. It seemed like it only did it with the super chats, uh, the donations. It didn't do that for. So I don't know, man. YouTube's really, man. It's uh, it's been weird, man. I I almost get this like sometimes I get this weird fear that they're gonna they're gonna basically stop live stream. Um, I'm, I'm. They seem to completely cut out some of these companies that interface with them and their APIs all the time. Streamlabs, Stream Elements, like all of this stuff is, is always not working um, all the time and YouTube does not care that it does not work. And uh, and not to mention the live video stuff that we have to go through sometimes between music content, game content, it's just uh, it can get overbearing sometimes if you want to monetize your content. If you're not monetizing it, then it really, for the most part, man, people don't care. Uh, especially when it comes to some of this stuff, man. It, it's, I don't know. I don't know. I'll worry about that some days. Uh, quick mod reviews, pros and cons of each. Yeah, 
I, I think, um, I think part of that was yeah. I, I, I agree with that. There's a couple, really, only a couple that I would really even do that for video wise. That'd probably be the 3D9s. That'd probably be the one that people would want to hear my take on the most. But honestly, like everything else, man, those 3D9s are. They're like it. Each one of them had their good pros. You know, their their good points and bad points. But um, I, I could definitely look and see if we could do that. I am in one three nine there, Grimlock. Yeah, I got out of one four zero because I got tired of driving the same crap, man. I had to come back to one three nine so I could get some change change of scenery. And I and even took out JBX and even ran uh, ran a little uh, running a little uh, uh, realistic graphics mod. I haven't run this mod in, in like feels like a year. It's like well, I'll go back and check it out. Uh, so guys wanted to see what I thought of it, and if I think it updated, I think it's got some good good points to it. Um, but uh, still reminds me a lot of the same <laughs> same stuff. Uh, Highland, this one actually comes with uh, this one actually comes with the truck. It's not a not a mod at all, which is kind of which is kind of nice. I agree with that, Joda, and I'm 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 in agreement with you there. Seventy-two miles, what we got here. Still on the eighty down to Reno's, where we're uh, where we be tonight. Uh, with Jedetta, my goal is going to be less than thirty, with shipping included in that. Um, so I know a typical Lids hat or any other hat from on demand is typically twenty-five to thirty plus shipping and taxes. Um, and so my goal is going to be thirty, uh, under thirty, or at least at thirty. That's shipping included. So, and it's a really good one. It's a Richardson leather hat. Like, it's a Richardson leather patch hat, and it's really nice. And, like, the bill and stuff is, like, really, it's, the bill's stiff, but, like, the hat itself is, like, really nice and form-fitting. I don't really have a funky head, but I don't have, like, a, you know, like, hats typically from, like, cheap places sit really weird on my head. Like, they, they look like a trucker, like a grandpa wears it. <laughs> this one, actually, like, it's pretty form-fitting. <laughs> yeah, that's already in GK. Well, I've, I've been I've been unlive for like four days now. This is my busy time of the year, so I kind of have to like. It's a good thing we're kind of waiting on one four zero because I've kind of been in this little bit of a lull with ATS. You know, I think a lot of us have been where it's just like, uh, come on, guys, we're kind of waiting for some new content, waiting for some new stuff, and it's just like we're sitting here waiting. <laughs> so. You know, we tried to do 140 for a while, and it was fine. It's just uh, just weird, man. Um, weird trying to drive the default stuff, and people don't really want to see that on stream. And you're just like, oh, I need some new content, I need some new stuff, some trailers, trucks, yada, 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 whatever. And, like, the modders are, like, totally silent. It's like, yeah, we're not touching anything until they come out with 140 officially. I'm like, yeah, that's what I figured. <laughs> like, yeah, whatever. It is what it is. What will is worth uh, under 250 with shifter race? Uh, Logitech uh, G29 with a shifter will usually run you 250 to 275, depending on where you get it. Uh, these guys, you can get a Thrustmaster pedal and wheels set, uh, but you will not get the Thrustmaster shifter uh, under. You won't get all of that for under 300. too high at 1400 well I, I can I can leave it at 1100 for it that makes you feel better wolf but I, but I have no acceleration I just feel like I'm seeing in a bog right now I'm spinning tires in the middle of the mud right now yeah that's right yeah you had to find a bundle uh, sometimes Amazon will have those sometimes you can find them off eBay like a store will be trying to sell those and they'll sell them with shifter like as a complete bundle um, yep don't pay any more than 300 for that stuff. Retail-wise, the, usually the shifter and pedal, I mean, sorry, the steering wheel and pedals are like 250, uh, and usually the shifter is like 59.99 if it's brand new retail. So, yeah. Don't pay over 300 for it if they sell it as a bundle. That's all right, Wolf. Hey, head knocks on off. Well, I hope everything's okay there, David. And don't worry, man. Don't worry about it. 
Uh, it's funny there, it's Toro. <laughs> Fart Jake. It's fine, man. It's fine, bear. Yeah, it's not my mod, so they can diss it all they want to. It's fine. I'll do this one another. Here's El Toro's favorite part of the truck, everybody. Yeah. Take it in, El Toro. It's wonderful. Take a good one for that. It smells about as bad as Reno, Nevada right now. They're in Phoenix, so we can make that happen. Uh, let's see, tomorrow is Friday. I'll have to even see if I can even make it happen tomorrow. Tomorrow evening, I might be able to do it. Um, uh, tomorrow evening, Saturday evening is uh, yeah, possible. Yeah, I'm just trying to think through my schedule for the next couple of days. Um, Tomorrow might happen. Oh, there's a big major load in right there. Woo! Yes, sir! <laughs> load it in, load it in. So, yeah, it looks like tomorrow, uh, I might be able to do tomorrow. Uh, so I can either, I can either haul, um, I can either haul on uh, Friday or Saturday. What are we doing tonight this week? Take you in this loop. Sorry. I almost forget. <laughs> I almost forget we got that long trailer now. I looked in the mirror and I was like, oh, I am cutting that way too close. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> we literally have done a round trip today. I says working on dirt oval. Yeah, week 13 is a good day to do that. <laughs> Let me ask you this, Wolf. Um, so what motor? Uh, Emmett, uh, so this is the Detroit 60 load that comes with the truck. No sound mod. It comes with the truck. So if you buy the truck, this engine will at least come with it, all right? Um, so, Wolf, let me ask you this. So when guys downshift, and whoever else can answer this to, it doesn't have to be Wolf. I just know he's, he's driving or he's, he's trucking right now. So... When you downshift, if you are in five, let's say five high, and you're coming down the hill, do truckers actually pull it in low, or they actually try to float it and gear up for low when they're downshifting? Or do they just flip the switch and go into low? I feel like that's probably a cheap, cheap way to do it. That's, you know. Aviator 16, what's up, babe? Uh, I'm gonna try to, yes, Master. Uh, tomorrow and Saturday are just weird, busy days. Uh, my wife is going to be going most of all day Saturday, so I'll be with the kids. So as long as I can get them in bed and get free and clear of that, then I should be good. But I'm not going to promise it because I just don't know. Um, my goal is to be live tomorrow. Um, that will be because um, I've got some recording. Uh, I'm actually shooting some interview stuff on Saturday morning uh, for my IRL stuff uh, that does not revolve around gaming. Um, but... Uh, yeah, so that's cabin and Friday night might be a setup night for that. So I might just try to leave Saturday night as my night to stream. So we'll look at something. It might be hauling uh, hauling the race car down to Phoenix 
It's going to be kind of crappy going from Vegas to Phoenix, so I we'll have to figure something out. We'll have to make that at least somewhat of a trip. Flip it, go low. What's up, Jen Gaming? How are you, man? Glenn Gaming, my bad. How are you, man? Floating gear down, that's how I was taught. Oh, you mean, okay, okay, okay. I got you. So you're saying actually pull out a gear, then, then, then RPM up, and then float down. Okay. Well, that, I mean, from just a mechanical perspective, that makes more sense. That's probably one thing that I've never asked anybody. I just naturally do it and don't really think about it. Uh, Dark, which one? Which mod is that for the truck? It's in the description. It should be. If it's not, uh, you might refresh. Or you can do exclamation mod. Exclamation mod will put you right in, uh, right in track for it, but... Going good. What's up, Mitch? Thumbs up again, man. Oh, the same piece again. I like a race. It's good, man. It's a big case. I, I've never had a tempered glass sides. It does kind of worry me. <laughs> but I do like the ease of just being able to pop it off and, you know, be able to work on the PC if you need to. I do, I do like that part. Oh, I hear you there, man. Well, thanks for checking in on us. We are here pulling into uh, back into Reno here with a uh, in here pulling in Jess mods here, Classic XL. Oh, I forgot we don't have to do all that for this one. Yeah, yeah, the float gears, I mean, it just takes a while. I mean, it's more like a timing thing. You know, you kind of watch your RPMs, but it's more of a timing. You just kind of figure out your timing for different gear ratios. And I, I typically now, someone had asked what gear ratio this is. I have no idea. Um, 373 seems a little bit high for me. I typically, since I'm always doing highway stuff, I typically um, am picking gear ratios that are somewhere in the 350 south. So I will I probably won't go to 80s or 90s. Uh, that's a little too highway, like, what, 10 speeds or something like that, getting in those kind of ranges. But I'm usually running a 13 or 18, but I'm usually keeping around a 323. So 323 or 350, whatever it is, um, I don't really do some of the big heavy hauls. So I like to get on the Internet and, and be – I'm an Internet, oh, my gosh. I like to get on the interstate and cruise some, you know, and get the speed up, uh, especially if I'm just, you know, running some miles or running randoms or whatnot. I'm not, not, a, not a huge fan of, you know, jumping in and doing those those long – you know, like heavy alls where you're like, you know, climbing stuff at 50 miles an hour and you never get over 55. I, I just don't have enough patience for that. I want to enjoy the game and not be like, oh, my God, this is such a job. <laughs> uh, can you name a built, built and drive of this truck and the cab over? Uh, the cab over? Hmm. Can I name a built and drive? I'm not sure what you mean by can I name a build and drive. Oh, can you make a build and drive? I have, actually. Um, and I actually, let me, um, while we're, while we're just hanging here for a second, let me, uh, let me pull this up right quick. Cause I'm gonna throw a few things in here for you guys. Uh, I thought I was going to do this the other day just cause I thought it was, uh, importante. Um, so for those that want to go check this out, um, here is a video link. If you want to learn how to float gears, this has almost got a hundred thousand views on it. So that's awesome. Um, so, and by the way, I've got an announcement, uh, just in case no one's have, has not heard this yet. Uh, let me find it. Let me find it. Hang on just a second. I hope this is in here. Let me go to my search here. Yeah, here we go. Um, 18K, sweet. So if you guys want to check a build and drive, go check that out right there. That is the build and drive for this truck. And I also um, have a couple of other things. I have another heavy haul build and drive that we did that featured this truck. Um, so if you want to go check it out, you can do that here. So here's this one. Um, and I want to say that's probably the two biggest ones I did on that particular truck. 
Um, I usually will do one or two, you know, um, depending on how many different builds and how many different ways you can build up a truck. So e either way, but that's it. Um, yes. So that looks like that's about it. I did the one that was really of a custom more, um, you know, that has pretty much the same kind of look that I have going on now with the big wide fenders, a big low bumper. And then I've got one that's basically heavy haul that's got the triple axle in the back and it's a flat top on top and uh, got all that stuff in there. So, so, uh, so yeah, so all of those right there, man, those are good ones there for you guys. Uh, if y'all want to check those out. Um, uh, hey, what's up, BR Farms? Doing good, man. Hope you're doing well. Um, yeah, no problem, Nick. No problem, man. Um, so yeah, that, that'll kind of that'll kind of get you get you started at least on those, and you kind of see what all we do have on that truck. It's actually got a lot of customization um, and a lot of different uh, you know variances of painted versus chrome versus you know different uh, stuff going on with it. So I I do think when it comes to like oh is it worth it? Yes, it it is. J Jess has done a really good job with that truck. Um, I really really am excited to show you guys a couple new trucks coming out for one four zero that I'm hoping we get sometime soon. Um, I just I just want to get into 140 so that we can start, these modders can start updating stuff. We can start covering these updates, how good it's going to look. Um, I am really, really, really excited about that. So, um, But it'll be something we do. So um, uh, hopefully soon. Uh, I'm just, I'm kind of tired of waiting on it, to be quite honest with you. But, you know, I mean, good things come to those who wait. That's what they say. I don't believe it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> but you know we'll we'll see what they we'll see what they do so anyway that's gonna be it for me man we're uh got a couple trips in there today had some little mod issues there going in the in the beginning of this but um hopefully uh we we figured out what that was and that was, was john ruda's uh trailer stuff so now that i've gotten rid of that we won't have that issue anymore so um at least while we're in 139 anyway um i'll roll back to there's a couple of old school ones I want to go back and, and revisit back down in Mexico and stuff. I want to go back and do um, the 9300 International. It's a really good one. The Mac F700 is good, really good cab over. I wanted to showcase. Um, so we'll we'll try to we'll try to feature some of these things in here in the next uh, you know this next coming week. Um, I've got a few things that I want to do. Obviously, we'll do. I'll try to do a haul in over to Phoenix and haul the NASCAR hauler down. Um, I've got a couple trucks now that we can do that with. Um, I think, uh, what did I do with last one? I don't know if I did the 389 last or not. Anyway, I've got the Western Stars, a cool one I've, I've just finished up, and I'm trying to work on the Cascadia for that one for uh, just a, a paint job. Um, but uh, but anyway, you know, enough for another stream. So we'll I'll try to work that in. We'll be racing back at ISM uh, in Phoenix come Sunday night. That's where the NIS will be this week. Um, and then we'll start a new week. So they actually did a lot of upgrades and a lot of new multi-groove racing. They've added a lot of stuff in there this last build for iRacing. I need to get on it and, and, and start trying some things out and get, get accustomed with it. But, oh, anyway, it's got a lot. So Sunday's going to be interesting, to say the least, because a lot of people are going to see that for the very first time, and that makes me worried. But anyway, uh, at least for right now, Sunday, we'll be back on it. Um, and by the way, some guys always ask this and I never am able to like really tell them because I don't know what it looks like on y'all screen all the time. Uh, but we now have an actual, uh, an actual store, uh, on our main website. I mean, I'm sorry, not the main website, the main YouTube channel site. Um, so if you look up on the top where it says home videos and playlists, there is a tab that says store. I had like three messages this past weekend. Guys were like, Hey, do you have merch? Yes, I do. And you can you can find that um, via the store tab, and that'll basically take you right over to my merch, and also at the very top of my brand new cover plate um, merch. You can find that there if you click on that. It will take you straight to uh, my Teespring site, which has a lot of stuff for the company, um, and uh, and I will be working on getting some new logo gear up there as well, since we've redone and rebranded uh, all of my logos and the cover photos for all of this stuff. The United Logistics is all trucking. Um, I plan on, uh, you know, adding in, if I could, adding in a few other things like, you know, we'll add in some logo, um, the FTR stuff from the racing thing. We'll put a few of those logos out there um, in case guys wanted to, you know, grab a FTR logo shirt. Um, and uh, I'll try to make it look racing inspired and racing thing. But anyway, I've got that. And then we'll also, uh, hopefully we'll have uh, uh, some new logo stuff in there. So bookmark that if you want to. Buy something now if you want to. It's fine. Uh, if you're not, you want to wait in to get some of the other stuff, I'll work on that too as soon as I can. Uh, but anyway, 
uh, that for those guys that are uh, that are checking that out, and that way you can uh, you'll you'll know what's going on with the merch stuff. So that way, if you want to purchase it, fine. If not, it's not a big deal. So make sure you knew where it was at because it has totally changed in YouTube. If you're working and and watching a live stream video outside of that, everything is the same. So um, do a little throttle. Um, yes, Jay. Well, so I make sure I go up at least four four fifty and let it just barely drop back in. Um, uh, just uh, just enough, man. What's up, Mr. Kula? I'm good, man. Uh, so I'm gonna, we're going to start it differently, Trip. I'll start it at 50, uh, and then I will we'll gauge. We'll just basically start at 50. So the pre-order and everything is going to start at 50. That way I'll know what the price of the hat is, and then um, and then we'll just do orders of 50 and keep the hat to uh, to the best of our ability. We'll keep the hat under 30 with shipping included. That's that That is our plan. And that will cover us boxing it, buying some shipping materials, and then being able to ship you guys a hat for under or at least right at $30. So that's my goal. So I will do the best I can with that. Uh, and, John, it is just mod. Uh, drop the S. Yep. No problem, Jay. No problem, man. Um, uh, so where do we go? So I will have a link for all that island crawler. So I'll do a link. Uh, my goal was this week. I'm going to shoot for this weekend now that we kind of know what we're going to do. Uh, I'll have a pre-order that you guys will do through drop form. It's really simple. It's really cool. And you can PayPal that through uh, and make sure you do it through like uh, not friends and family, but the other one, the business one, that way it's protection for me and for you guys. Uh, and that way it'll have addresses and everything done. You just make the note in PayPal. Hey, this is for FTG hat uh, pre-buy or pre-sale. And then once those uh, orders are filled, then we'll send out invoices for those. You'll pay them. And then we'll, whoever pays on that, will be able to ship your hat out. So uh if you wanna if you want to pick up Jess mods, uh that's what the mod's for. Yeah, that that's a command to get the link right out of uh the thing instead of that or the description either or. I'm trying to keep that stuff a little more updated, so <laughs> thank you there, Frank. Have a good buddy. <laughs> it's always good to see you man. <clears throat> <laughs> all right man well that's gonna be it for me man you guys take it easy i will uh hopefully we'll be back um i'm going to shoot for saturday night it will be easier than tomorrow night just because i just don't know and i hate telling you guys well i'll be here tomorrow night and then i don't show up uh like i said it's just my busy time of the year so i'm going to try to be a little more um uh, a little more active with some of that stuff at least trying to be able to let you guys know when we're going to go live uh, just because notifications don't really work like they're supposed to. Even if you check the bell, YouTube still may decide, eh, I'm not going to send him a notification, but it's fine. Whatever. Uh, <laughs> wait five more minutes. Oh, is that, that puts us right on the two-hour mark? That's all right, man. Uh, you guys have a great one, and uh, thank you guys for everything, man. Thanks there, Trucker Faith as well. Katheta, uh, Asphalt Gay there for the five. Jeff Tanner there for the five. Super Chat, appreciate it, man. Highland Wonder Wolf there for the 20 Super Chat. Uh, thank you guys. Appreciate it very much. Uh, and we will see you all here hopefully in the next live stream, uh, hopefully Saturday night. We'll see what's going on. But other than that, hopefully I'll see you guys Saturday. If not, uh, you guys have a great weekend, and uh, we'll see you here hopefully soon, Sunday or Monday. Uh, but likewise, we'll see you guys. Have a great one. We'll see you. Peace out.